tutorial I'm going to show you how to find range in different way. You already know how to find the range one way and that is dx is equal to vax times t. But the problem is you have to find the t, right? And sometimes finding t takes more than one second. Uh, so this formula will allow you to solve the problem within a fraction of a second when uh, absolutely you have no time to finish the problem. Uh, especially during the competition or during the time, especially during the time when you take the test. You, uh, you're running out of time, you have to solve the problem less than 10 seconds and this is the way to go. So range equation. Uh, we're going to start our conversation of course with uh, D is equal to, uh, because today is the first day of two-dimensional kinematics uh, and this is the way to welcome the two-dimensional kinematics. So let's write dy is equal to viy t plus half ayt squared and of course remind ourselves the x component of this equation vix t plus half ax t squared of course. Uh, we are letting dy uh, is 0, so dy is 0 and uh, this one we are going to say this one is g. The moment this one becomes E, this one becomes negative. Okay, so we bring it to this side. So we raise a half GT squared is equal to uh, VIYT. Now, we, one thing we can do, we can uh, cancel one T. So then uh, just there is only one T survive, and that is to the left side. So you have GT is equal to 2VY. All right? then t must be 2by over g, that's the t. Okay, so we are making progress. Now, let's use purple to uh, continue our conversation, of course, of the x direction. Some of you know acceleration due to gravity is zero, and you are finding a new equation for range. There is a new name, of course, for dx, and that is range. Replace it by range. Vix. Vix is um, just write Vx so you don't have too many subscript. Uh, and the t, t you know. And make, make it red so that you would know that what I am replacing it by. Replace it by, of course, 2vy over g. Okay, so now your range formula become like this 2vx vy over g. I want you to remove the Vx and Vy. If you have to remove the Vx and Vy, you have to have something. And that is 2Vx, uh, instead of Vx, you write V and V. So uh, this x, you want to write cosine theta. Or, or just write, instead of x, putting x, you just write cosine theta. And instead of putting y, you write V sine theta, of course. All right, so you are making progress. So R is equal to 2, how many Vs? 2 Vs, so V squared. Cosine theta, sine theta. Cosine theta, sine theta over G. And that is, we're going to write V squared is equal to 2 cosine theta, sine theta over G. All right, and then from here, what are we going to write? You're going to write, I'm just going to copy and paste it. V squared, uh, 2 cosine theta, sine theta over G. 2 cosine theta, sine theta is equal to uh, sine 2 theta. Okay? So now, why? Maybe I have to give some reasoning. Why? So trigonometric double angle formula. Double angle. Uh, for sine, for sine, they are, of course, sine 2x is equal to 2 cosine x sine x. Cosine uh, 2x is equal to cosine square minus uh, sine square x. Or you can write it like, uh, as you know, uh, the a square plus b square equal to c square, which is uh, which becomes for trigonometry uh, sine squared x plus uh, cosine squared x is equal to 1. 
so that uh, sine e squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine e squared x. And if you replace uh, sine e squared with this, then what do you get? Cosine 2x is equal to cosine e squared x minus, you want to replace this one, 1 minus cosine e squared x. So cosine 2x is equal to uh, cosine e squared x minus uh, 1 uh, plus cosine e squared x. So cosine 2x is equal to 2 cosine e squared x minus 1. Uh, so the next uh, equation is cosine 2x is equal to 2 cosine e squared x minus 1. Uh, one more you can write uh, sine e squared uh, x plus cosine e squared x is equal to 1. Uh, so cosine e squared x is equal to 1 minus sine e squared x. Uh, so we, you, you put it over here cosine uh, uh, cosine e squared x minus sine e squared x, right? Uh, so you can put um, uh, 1 minus 1 minus sine e squared x over here. So here is you can put 1 minus sine e squared x minus sine e squared x. So what do you get? 1 minus sine e squared x minus sine e squared x. So what do you eventually get is 1 minus 2 sine e squared x. So cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine e squared x. So you don't have to memorize any formula anyway. The good thing is we're going to use only this one. Uh, this one uh, over here. Uh, we're not going to use the cosine. Uh, we're going to use the first one, only the sine. So maybe you want to know uh, how that happens. So sine 2x is equal to 2 cosine x sine x. How that happened? All right. So let's prove this part. Left hand side. So sine 2x can be written as uh, sine x plus x. One of the double angle formula tell us a uh, sine x, um, uh, let's write it, sine a plus b is equal to sine a cosine b uh, plus cosine a uh, sine b. All right, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, this is a, this is b. And let's say this is a and this is b. All right, so then you have um, sine x plus uh, sine x cosine x uh, uh, plus uh, cosine x sine x. All right, now I'm going to put um, the sine x, uh, sine x, uh, cosine x. Uh, that means uh, sine a uh, cosine uh, b plus cosine uh, a, uh, cosine a, uh, and sine uh, b. All right, so we are x, x are the same. So you're going to just write, uh, instead of doing this thing, we're just going to write, uh, hey, um, sine x, cosine x, sine x, cosine x, plus we, we can move it because this is product, sine x and cosine x. So we're going to have um, uh, two sine x, cosine x, two sine x, cosine x, uh, as if we have two orange or two apples. Uh, so uh, again, what is sine 2x, 2 sine x, cosine x. So then what is uh, this? Uh, this is uh, this, v squared uh, sine uh, 2 theta. Don't forget g uh, over g. And that is the range equation. OK, good. Now, let's solve this problem by range equation two different ways. Uh, Messi's uh, problem, this is uh, uh, V is uh, 20 meter per second, and this is uh, 37 degree. All right, we don't need any of this anymore. Uh, double angle, those double angles, okay. Uh, so now V is uh, V cosine X, uh, V sine X, uh, V is 20, uh, V is 20. See how long it's going to take to do it uh, in a traditional way. Uh, it takes a long time. This is 16. This is 12. 
and now you're going to do this dy is equal to vi uh, yt plus half a y t squared so of course uh, dy is uh, zero so this is zero because dy is zero over here so zero is equal to vi 12t minus 5t squared all right so now you're going to uh, have to take um, t, so 12 minus 5t, uh, so t is equal to 12 over 5, 2.4. Now you're going to use dx is equal to vix t plus half ax t squared. This is 0. So then dx, finally, your vix, of course, uh, 16, and then your uh, this one is a 2.4. 38.4 congratulations you finally found the range but this formula I'm going to give you the range within a fraction of a second so v is 20 squared and sine uh, sine uh, 37 times so this is 37 so 37 times 2 74 and this is hey we are done this is 10 uh, we already took care of the negative when we did this okay uh, remember, I put negative over here, so negative being take care of. So 400, uh, 400 sine uh, 74 uh, over 10. Uh, so sine 74, uh, 400 times uh, sine uh, 74 uh, is uh, 384, 384. Uh, divided by 10, uh, so 38.4. Uh, uh, this is measured. <laughs> so you see, this takes a fraction of a second and it takes a uh, year. And this is why you probably want to use the range equation when it comes to find the range. Now, simply, I want to put the range equation. Uh, so you don't have to derive it once you understand it. Range equation is pretty simple. Range equation is uh, 2v squared uh, cosine theta sine theta over, of course, uh, g. r is equal to v squared 2 cosine theta sine theta is, of course, sine uh, 2 theta over g. And this is the range equation. And this range equation, if you remember this, of course, uh, you don't memorize it, you know how to derive it. But if you remember this uh, in the test, you can solve the problem with a fraction of a second.